The town of Fort Benton might be familiar with this building right behind me, known as the Sullivan Building. But for those of you that don't, this building was largely known for supplying goods to homesteaders in the early 1900s. But with new renovations, this building will have an all new meaning. Construction began in 1910 for a 50 by 50 foot reinforced concrete warehouse. Owner Joseph Sullivan, who was famous for Sullivan saddles, branched out into agricultural implements, catering to the influx of homesteaders. So he built this building and he emblazoned on the outside of it great marketing of what was inside. So as these farmers are coming down the road headed to town, they could see this building and it was one street off of Main Street. The Sullivan Warehouse remained empty until 1963 when Richard and Joyce Cassud, who did business as D&J Implement, purchased it for $3,500. And with the building staying in the family, current owners Kelly and Michael Cassud saw an opportunity for some upgrades. With a new entryway providing access to the renovating office, as well as a new staircase leading to the second floor and windows paying homage to the building's original style, the building is now restored to its original fit for purpose. So we've got opportunities to bring new businesses to town and uh, uh, kind of break the building down to give, uh, you know, new small businesses a, a place to be that are on the street. It's mainly a service oriented type building. It's not retail. And uh, so it's, uh, we think it's in a good location and uh, should be back in participation with the community. The renovations are near completion with the intention of supporting both the Fort Benton and Shoto County community for another hundred years. In Fort Benton, Cade Mentor, MTN News.